Hey everyone, welcome back. This video, we're gonna talk about the continue keyword. And I would say it's pretty important to understand how the break keyword works, which we talked about in the previous video. But just to get a quick review, pretty much any time this break is going to be hit, the loop is done, it's not gonna execute anymore. The continue works in a similar nature in that it interrupts the loop, but instead of quitting the entire loop, it just stops that iteration and jumps to the next one. So in this situation, we might want to search for, let's say we're searching this languages list for something we type in such as Python. Instead of stopping after we find Python, we still wanna go through that list and continue to check for more instances of Python. Well, that is where you could use a continue instead of a break. So let's just see an example of this. First, we'll go with break. Running this, we can type in Python and it stops at Python and says we found Python. But if we had Python in here more than once, like so, this search is only a yes or no search, whether or not Python is in the list or not. It doesn't say each time we found Python because it hits that first Python and it stops. So what if instead we used continue? And then let's say if we don't find it, we say print and inside of the print, we're actually going to print the language that we're currently on plus a statement saying, not what we're looking for. So let's run this and see what happens. What are you searching for? We'll search for Python, hit enter. We get a bunch of different outputs. So first up, this is what we were searching for, Python. Find C++, not what we're looking for. Java, not what we're looking for. Python, we found Python. JavaScript, not what we're looking for. So you notice it continues on to JavaScript even though we already found Python once. And then it does that every single time it hits Python, it says we found Python. So this kind of algorithm could be used to count the instances or to continue the search for another instance after you already found the first one. If you wanted to clean up the output a little bit, we could get rid of this extra print here and we type in Python. It just says just the output C++, not what we're looking for. Java, not what we're looking for. We found Python, JavaScript, not what we're looking for. We found Python, we found Python. So if you need to treat a certain case special you can use the if statement to check for it. And then within that if statement, use the keyword continue to go to the next iteration. And then line 10 will not be hit in the case that the if statement is true. So hopefully that's not too complex. Just go through some examples and just type it out and try it yourself, see what output you get. Now there is a variation that you might see that does not use the continue keyword, but it does the same thing. And that's what I'm gonna be talking about in the next video. So stay tuned for that one. 